you are a fantastic principal. I love that more than anything. And you understand children, you understand teachers, and you understand this whole thing about strengths because you were talking about it even mm-hmm. here, strengths and passions of kids. And it is the most important thing. And the trouble is, I hope the parents will see through my book, wait a minute, I have to find the good parts of my kids. Right. They're so nervous that their children, there's something wrong with them that they don't stop and go, oh, well, oh yeah, he could put right. together a, a 10,000 piece spaceship from Lego. What? Mm-hmm. I right. mean, they don't think about that. And I think that's what I love about, well, it's probably because everything you say <laughs> I like. So, I mean, you know, so I like go. the book. I don't know. I, you know, I take notes on it all the time and I pull out things. But I think that's it. It's believing in these kids and trying to use their strengths and passions to teach them. And I know parents find it difficult because they're so, do you know, something just happened. Understood.org said the new statistics 48% of parents still think their kid will snap out of it. And right. 33% of teachers think children with, di- with differences are lazy. Mm. I was so upset about those. And Ned Hallowell, when I told him about it, and he's a very famous uh, uh, author mm-hmm. also and a doctor with ADHD. And he just said to me, we have a lot of work to do. And we do, but I believe it's people like you writing books like this. Well, I appreciate and maybe that. my book too, that maybe will help the parents to say, wait a minute, let's get some help. Well, it's it's kind of like saying a kid, oh, a kid can't keep their attention, right? Like they and then, you know, a quick diagnosis of ADHD. And I'm not talking doctoral stuff or anything like that, because I'm not that person. But then right. watching that kid play video games for eight hours, and it's like they can keep their attention. But maybe they and just anything they like, stuff. right? And so it's just kind of trying to figure that stuff out, right? So it is, and, it is looking for that, and I think that that's one of the things that Katie and I, uh, Katie Novak and I, who obviously co-wrote the book with me, um, we really focused on is actually that yeah, we want to develop where kids are struggling, and we want to do the same thing. But I think that as you mentioned earlier, the the notion of confidence, right? If kids come to school and we're always like, we need to fix this, we need to fix this, we need to fix this, and then we're like, why do they hate being here? It's like because you keep telling them they suck all day, and so of course they don't want to be there, right? And so I always say it's not about ignoring weaknesses; it's about starting with strengths. 